And this is going to hurt a little seeing this picture, guys. I'm sorry in advance. I did do it. Running back. Better or worse in 2024 as we see Saquon in that bright green. It's kind of a little weird to see, isn't it? It's a little weird. It takes me getting used to seeing that there. So here's what I, I, I wonder. And maybe I'm crazy. You guys can tell me if I'm crazy. Are we worse? Of course we're worse. We lost a guy who is a potential Pro Bowl caliber running back. Anytime you lose that, you're never worse. Yeah. I mean, sorry, never better, I should say. My question is, are we really that much worse, though? On paper, it looks really bad. Singletary came close last year to the same kind of numbers that Saquon did. Eric Gray, maybe he gets a little better. Tyrone Tracy Jr., I think a nice addition. I really do. Yes, right, well, maybe he gets a chance to actually play a little bit. Deshaun Corbin, I'm kidding. No, he's, he's not going to. He's not going to play. Um, <laughs> yeah. Deion Johnson, yeah, he's not going to play either. Um, Turbo, who knows? He's an unknown, unknown commodity, but he's got some potential to do some special things because he does things athletically that other people just can't do. I look at this, and it's it's a it's a group that I sit there and say, starter wise, we're worse, but are we perhaps better off at depth? And I think that's oh, where it is. I think that's a lot of what we've done this year in general is improve the depth. You know, if you look at last year, we had Matt Breda, who, let's be frank, didn't play very well. Um, he's still unsigned for a reason. And I look at him and go, okay, how much was it Saquon not, you know, being the guy that just was going so crazy running the ball that he never got a chance to get going? You know, some running backs take some time to get going. Um Part of me goes, oh, well, he's 29 years old and he's a speed demon guy. Has he lost that? Lost a little pep in that step. That happens at 29. It's wait till you 30. 30s when you start to die. <laughs> Not 32 like some people will have you leave, believe. Um, so, yeah, like I said, I, I think we're better off depth-wise. But I think we're not as good starting-wise. But I think if the depth improves to the point that I think it potentially could, I could say that we're a little better potentially group wise because of the money difference. That matters when you're talking about a salary cap thing. So if we can get similar production out of this group to what Saquon is providing the Eagles or would have provided us. And we're not going to spend the crazy money that Saquon got for a running back. Again, it's not crazy money overall. But the crazy money that Saquon got for a running back, then you can look at this and go, eh, it's not, you know, not that bad. I mean, the cap number this year for Devin Singletary is three point seven million dollars, guys. Yeah. So that's that's a big difference there, guys. That's we have four guys that probably because... potentially started making half of what Barkley it's going to be make guaranteed this year. Well, not yeah. guaranteed, but his average. Yeah, I mean, the crazy thing is, Barkley's. Here you go. Oh my god, I didn't look at Barkley's number to see how they did the numbers. The same cap number this year. You know, they built a nineteen million dollar, nineteen point three million dollar void year into Barkley's contract for twenty seven. <laughs> That's crazy. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. Yeah. I, I, I don't even know. I don't I don't know what to say about that. That's just insane. They have four void years on this thing. They're gonna pay him four million dollars in change for, for four years after he's gone. Good luck, Eagles. <laughs> yeah, my gosh. Yeah, that's why they gave him a ton of money, and everybody said that was a little crazy. But, yeah. So, again, we don't want to be in that cap situation. Because I'm telling you, eventually, the the the, the, you know, the shit's going to hit the bed there. It's going to amber her. Yeah, you got to pay the point. piper. <laughs> You're going to have to pay it eventually. And You're going to have to pay the attorney for amber, amber Heard. 
Yeah. So I'm glad we're in a scenario where we're going to be cap healthy, cap strong. And we're going to be able to go ahead and make moves we need for the future. We're not going to be paying $30 million a year to people who played five years ago. Because this is what the Eagles have done with so many contracts. It's not even funny. Yeah. So, again, in a position that has less value, are we weaker? Yes. Are we as weak as people may think we are? Probably not, to be honest. Especially if Saquon can't stay healthy in, in Philly. Because I'll tell you right now, if Saquon gets hurt in Philly, we won. can't play. We won right there. Exactly. We won right there. So, like I said, I'm I'm curious to see what happens here. Uh, and, and I'm curious. This is it's a big change overall for this team. And it's going to be an exciting group overall. So, I'm curious to see what they do. I'm excited, cautiously excited, to see what they do from the running back position. Go turbo. Turbo time. <laughs> I can't help it. I can't help it. Uh, Thanks for listening to Two Giant Goofballs, a New York Giants podcast. We appreciate your support. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.